In today's note, we're going to be looking at drawing circuit diagrams. So we've seen examples of what circuit diagrams look like um, in our past couple notes. We've seen what the symbols are for the different parts of a circuit, as well as the difference between a parallel and a series circuit. So what we're going to do is just go through some examples of drawing circuits based on a description. So in our first one, we want to draw a circuit that has a three cell battery, a closed switch, and one load in series. So there's a couple things here that we want to keep in mind. Remember a cell looks something like this. There's one cell, we have our negative end and we have our positive end. A closed switch, a switch would technically look something like this, but if it's closed, remember closed means that electrons can flow, so it's going to be a solid line. And then a load, in this case we've done a light bulb, so a load would look something like yeah, something like that. And we need to keep in mind that it's in series. So again, so the cell, switch, load. And again, if you need, if you need uh, refreshing on what the symbols are, you can always look back into the simple circuits uh, note, and they're at the last couple slides. So if we want to draw a three cell battery, we're going to draw three sets of small line and short line. So small line, or small line, long line, or short and long, short and long, short and long. So there's our three cell battery. These are going to be connected with wires. We have a closed switch, so let's just bring this down again. Your design may look slightly different, but there's a couple key things that we need to have. Our three cell battery, our switch that is closed, and it needs to come back around. So wherever you put your load is up to you. However, it needs to be in series. So we need to have only one pathway for the electrons to flow. So I'm just going to place it right here, and then we have our wires connecting back up so that the electrons can flow from our negative end all the way back to our positive end. Let me just color code that a little different. Oops. So again, it's up to you of where you put that load, but the idea is that it has to be in series. So it has to, there only has to be one, or there can only be one pathway. So that is the first one. The second one, we are looking at a two cell battery, an open circuit, three loads in parallel, and a resistor across the first load. So two cell battery, We have our two cell battery. We need it to be an open circuit. So that means that it is not closed, so the electrons aren't flowing. So we're gonna have a switch that's open. So the electrons cannot flow through. And we have three loads in parallel. So we're gonna have one load. So parallel means that we have multiple pathways. So there's one load in parallel. There's another load that's in parallel. And there's finally a third load that's in parallel. And we need to have a resistor across the first load. So that means we're going to have a resistor in front of the load. So we have a resistor, we have our load, we have everything included, and we have our electrons flowing from the negative end to the positive end. So that is example B. For C, two cell battery, four loads in parallel, a closed switch controlling the second load, and a voltmeter across the first or the last load. So we're gonna start with our two cell battery. Always a good place to start because that's where kind of all the power or the electrons come from, that's our source. So we have our two cell battery. We need to have four loads in parallel. So that means we're gonna have four parallel lines coming across for each load. 
there's another one. I realize that I have missed something, but I'm going to just go one thing at a time. Just so I don't get confused on what I've missed. So I have my two cell battery, I have my four loads, so they're all in parallel. And I need a closed switch controlling the second load. So that means I need to have a switch out here in front that's closed to allow the electrons to go through. It doesn't make sense that the switch would be after because that means electrons would still be able to flow through the load. So I want the switch before so it controls the voltmeter across the, across the last load. So if I want to draw a voltmeter going across the last load, I'm going to have it connect before and after. So that is my voltmeter. And again, my electrons are flowing out of the negative end, going through the circuit, going to the positive end. So that is our example there. So those are examples of how to draw circuit diagrams. It should be fairly straightforward as long as you know what the symbols are and understand what open and closed means and what parallel and uh, series means. Those are the main terms that you're gonna need to know to help you draw these. So there are two examples for practice to try to draw them. Same idea as before. Um, I would start with one or the beginning of each and then work your way through go back and erase things and change them as things get added. But again, the main thing is just knowing open, closed, series, and parallel, and what the symbols are.